So we actually see Kochi trying to kill <clears throat> Jijin with the flames, in which it doesn't actually work because the fact that it doesn't actually kill him completely. But we see how Amado say that it won't actually stop Jijin from being dead, but it actually meant that the data from the comma from color key will actually be transferred, turning him into Ishiki Osusuki, which means that he'll come back over and over and over again, but as in the data from the karma transfer into Kawaki from Jijin, there is no way of stopping it. That is the strict rule of karma. However, we knew that we see Kawaki burst in using his karma to actually get the answers. But Sasuke have actually destroyed it, knowingly how he wanted to get answers but without any details of what they might deal with the fact that they're dealing with a common threat. Normally, of what could happen if they actually reveal the truth about their enemy. However, we see the full reveal of Ishiki Ususuki which we finally see him for the first time as we knew that we see how he used his abilities to actually remove the pillar and get rid of the frog in which the frog just so happens to be one of Koji's abilities which it cut off completely so we knew from another spoiler that Amado have used his experimentations to create Koji or before <clears throat> Jiraiya's death he actually took his DNA and created a clone of him in other words Koji is actually the genetic clone of Jiraiya in which he actually created him before his death in which we knew how they're going to kill an Ususuki, but now he actually used his abilities to overwhelm him. As we go to see how they're prepared for the battle when Ishiki actually appeared into the hidden leaf. Normally they were prepared for the biggest battle of their lives. So we actually finally get to see Ishiki Ususuki, in which we knew that they're going to defeat him, while we also learn that Koji is a genetic clone of Jiraiya. Before his death, we could see how Amado took his DNA and created a clone of him. So we knew how this actually gone wrong. So we're going to see what's going to happen on the next episode next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, and my Facebook page and Twitch. Until then, this is Anime Guy here saying signing out. Laters, and be safe.